Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Okay. Hello. Welcome to The One Who Seeks. All right, I got some new toys and new tools to do our readings. Really excited. Start using them. I am trying out a different way of using my camera. Um, so I'm really hoping that everything goes really smoothly here on this 2-22 day. Gonna have a lot of unity, collaboration, love. Balance. <sighs> okay. I want to invite in the angels, Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael for guidance and protection. I call in only that is of loving energy and of good nature in all other energies I ask to leave. And I thank you for your service. <sighs> okay, so I'm just going to kind of play around today. I don't really know what I'm going to do. Um, I got all these new beautiful stones. It has the different zodiac signs on there which a lot of the readers that I watch and listen to have and I've wanted them ever since I've seen them so here they are and I'm not sure exactly how I am going to utilize them yet um, but I'm very excited okay so I'm gonna draw I also have these other little guys, so I am pulling out the earth stone, and then I also have the chakras, and I am going to pull out the I love stone. Okay, I'm going to work with these energies today. Okay, the I love is the heart chakra. Right. right where your heart would be. Harmony, love, and healing. It's green. All right. And it is the fourth chakra. And your stones would be rose quartz, ammonite, petalite, Green Abertine, and it's about love, forgiveness, relationships, 
feelings and compassion. So here we are, the heart chakra. Mm -hmm. I have unconditional love and compassion for myself and others. I release the past and embrace who I really am now. I forgive myself and others and open to see all things differently. My heart is filled with compassion, joy, and forgiveness. I gladly give and receive with all my heart. All right. Let's see here. That would be Archangel. Shamuel and Maha Kohan Paul the Venetian and Lady Nadia. Hmm, let me see. Okay, love is a gateway to healing. I will help you open that gate. Okay, so I have all these beautiful cards here, and they have different sound therapies. So for our heart chakra, your vowel is going to be ah, uh, like pa, ah. Uh, Okay, just feel that. Feel it in your heart. You know, it's like when you see something sweet and cute and romantic and you're like, ah. Okay. Okay, and then might be issues around fear of loneliness, dependency on others, feeling stuck, depression of spirit, anxiety, betrayal, heart disease, and cancer. Things to be looking out for. And it affects the thymus, heart, Breast, arms, lungs, your blood circulation, and immune system. Okay. So it's directly associated with forgiveness and compassion. Influences thoughts about harmony, power of love, sharing, giving, and receiving, growth, balance, Hate, anger, despair. Issues include fear of loneliness, dependency on others, depression of spirit, betrayal, heart disease, cancer. All right, we just went over that. Effects. Okay, we got that. Oh, so this is nice. It's all in one card. All right. So uh, these cards are pretty cool. Let's see. Um, trying to see what they're called for you. Deep Healing Light. By David Nelms, N-E-L-M-E-S. Yeah, so Deep Healing Lights Chakra Healing cards. Okay. 
Okay. I have unconditional love and compassion for myself and others. I release the past and embrace who I really am. I forgive myself and others, and I am open to see all things differently. My heart is filled with compassion, joy, and forgiveness. I gladly give and receive from the depth of my heart. Very nice. Okay, and then there's meditation on the back. Maybe I'll take a picture of that and post it if I can. Figure that out. So you can do that on your own. Okay, and then Earth is about grounding yourself. Mother Nature. Okay. And I'm going to use this new deck. Tarot and Wonderland. Charge that up with some protection there. I'm going to pick a stone. Okay. And what we have here is this beautiful chart. Carnelian is for vitality. up here. Okay, and then I'm just going to do two cards. Okay. We want to know about the heart. What is going on with the heart chakra? Anything that we need to know right now? Okay. And here we are talking about 222, unity, love. Okay. So it could be about your roots, your family. We have the Temperance and the King of Pentacles. All right. Wow. Looks like you are doing some mushrooms with your lover. And, um, well, maybe your father is waiting for you to come home for dinner or lunch. It's tea time. Tea time in crumpets. Okay. He's impatiently waiting for you. And you're over here in your psychedelics. You got your hookah over here. You're eating mushrooms. You're the same size as the mushrooms. You're just having a good time. Maybe you're exploring yourself and your father does not understand this. Right? He just sees you as doing drugs, but you're actually doing it to see another perspective. To have fun, to open up your mind and not be so stern and business-like. Mm 
You know, well, this is nice here. You're having a picnic. It's like outside on maybe your own property. So you definitely look like you're, you come from a wealthy family. You're well off. You're comfortable. You might not be totally rich. You know, nothing here really looks all that extravagant. It looks very down to earth. You have a countryside cottage. Lots of property, lots of land for you can spread out. It's springtime, everything's coming to life. You're out and about enjoying the sunshine, hanging out with your friends. Even if they are only imaginary, I'm not really sure if he's real or not. You're just imagining that. But regardless, it's your friend, you're hanging out with that person, that thing, the animals, hanging out in nature, they're talking to you, they're sending you messages, and you're contemplating it. You're not worried at all about your father here waiting for you to have this tea. You know, this is about the earth here. This is about loving yourself. Having vitality. Okay to go out and have a good time and do what's best for you. For your health. Let's split it again. Do I need to know about my heart chakra? This is a collective reading. the maybe some of these not in good health we did talk about the other things here that we need to pay attention to right your blood circulation your immune system maybe you have an, a very upset stomach So this is dependency on others, depression, betrayal, heart disease, and cancer. So okay, and this is so this is not your stomach. This is your heart, um, and then your immune system. How you fight things off, right? Um, so you're here. Looks like you're protecting something. You know, whatever it is that's past here, you don't want anybody to walk past there, right? Charlotte's Web, Wilbur, the pig. I'm trying to remember, like, premise of the, the cartoon about making friendships in unexpected places where you become family and um, when you lose somebody it still affects you as if it was family. You really love that person. You guys did a lot together. You learned a lot together. Mm 
And then when somebody's gone and they die and they have this resurrection to a new realm, you know, you're left feeling sad. Because you had this great bond. Okay, but I do see some flowers here. So it's like renewal, the seeds, There's some nutrition in there. Something that's beautiful that also provides you with something fulfilling. You know, something about maybe not eating pork, right? Like the, this pig has, looks like a bonnet on its head and a bow tie. So you're, you're dressing it up and it's in this cup like it's a trophy, right? So you're, you're savoring it, you're protecting it. It's an honor for you. It's something that you love. So you're not going to eat that, right? So maybe you don't eat pork. It might help with your heart. I don't know. You know, I'm not a nutritionist about, I'm not, I don't know the details about what are the nutrients about eating pork or not eating pork. I know that a lot of my family members have migraines from eating it, so they just don't eat it. Um, so I don't think it's healthy for everyone. Okay, that's for someone. Okay, you know, I'm getting this resistance. Gotta nurture it. Maybe um, you're becoming vegan or vegetarian. You know, for the welfare of the animals and also for your health. Like we're not going to take it anymore. All this abuse. This is a prize. This is a gift. You know how this guy looks a little bit bloated. And uncomfortable. They have a lot of a passion and emotions for you. Uh, we have a yes, yes, <laughs> and maybe a no, right? And this is going the other way, right? So it was definitely a yes for this other person. Um. So this is you, this is the other person. So you're going to want asking and they were like, heck yeah, at first, but there's something that happened that they're not, a, they're unsure of now. So let's find out what is going on with the relationship here. Holy cow, you are carrying a lot of weight. <laughs> the stones underneath. Um, oh, wow. See, you're totally all over the place. Maybe unknown. Yes, no. All right, you're all over the board. You're back and forth. You, you're totally in love with them at one, you know, in a moment and then the next moment. You're like, oh, heck no, I'm not dealing with this, right? Maybe this person is controlling, you know. Um, they are definitely controlling. And you guys are caring a lot here because I think of somebody's ego. And I'm guessing it's this other person's ego, right? Just the stature and everybody is praising this person. They're surrounding this person. Right, and it's standing in the way of your relationship. So uh, this person could be 
you know, very caring and loving and nurturing and have a feminine side. And you love that about this, this person. But they have so much masculine energy and ego associated with it that it's standing in the way. Right? And here we have, so we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, that might have something to do with the colors here. Um, same thing. And we have Scorpio. Water, fire, air, fire. Okay. Moon and Aquarius, Jupiter and Leo, and uh, Saturn and Sagittarius. A lot of solar plex. Here's the heart here. The seven of swords. Right, lies, trickery, schemes, strategy, resourcefulness, sneakiness, cunning. Right. I consider the consequences of my actions. This is financial deception, theft. Um, somebody being disloyal. Maybe somebody cheated on you and you found out. financials in here financial strain deception there is success here but just for this person right it's all over the place okay then we have the eight of wands underneath things unknown Mercury and Sagittarius, solar plex, the answer is yes, right, movement, speed, progress, quick decisions, sudden changes, excitement, so, um, maybe you are going to marry this person after all, I am ready for rat, ready, <laughs> hmm, I am ready for rapid progress and growth. Okay, this person is teaching you something. Okay, but it's a lot of weight. Because before you were just hanging out by yourself. And now you're getting kind of put to work, right? And it's definitely a change and it's a strain. But it's also victorious. You have... Um, recognition and praise here but don't get burnt out mm -hmm. don't be sneaky okay overarching energy we have the queen of cups okay this is a cancer card very nurturing water is about emotions Compassion, warmth, kindness, intuition, healing, counseling, support. Okay. Definitely think you are being counseled in some sort of way by this person. Okay, support is also, you know, a lover, family, mother, father. All right, is it moving? It is moving. Oh, this thing does not beep or warn me when it stops recording, so it kind of doesn't catch everything. I don't know where it ends, and then I look up and I don't see the timer anymore. So, let's do the you-them relationship again. Okay. 
So let's do the underneath card, the full. Mm -hmm. the things unknown, beginnings, freedom, innocence, originality, adventure, idealism, spontaneity, spontaneity. Uh -huh, you know what I mean. <laughs> Spontaneity. All right. And it's about taking a leap of faith. Um, you know, childlike actions, not thinking about the consequences, not paying attention. All right. So this is the what you see is unknown. Somebody's not paying attention. You need to take a leap of faith, right? Okay, this is you. Pisces. Energy. Right, you're celebrating something that you're moving towards but you're having nightmares about it. Fear and anxiety, right? Having a lot of emotions about it. But you're also very excited about it and you just don't know what the consequences of it is gonna be. This is why you have the full energy. You gotta leap in, take that risk, uh, conquer your fear. Okay, this is them. Jeez. Mm hmm. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Very strong Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Wow, you are very much, this person is very much in their mind. Um, they want to have control of every, everything, but they don't. They need to become um, a little more open minded. All right, maybe they don't want to take this move, and this is why you have a lot of anxiety. Because this other person is maybe not wanting to go. Well, they're saying yes. Right, they're saying yes, but it's killing them. Right, it's, it's actually very painful. They have a lot of control. Um, maybe they're like a CEO somewhere. And, um, it's, it's painting them to move on, but they're actually going to have a lot of freedom and they don't realize it yet. All right. They're having to overcome this fear as well. They both have a lot of fear around this, taking this leap, moving. Okay, Taurus energy. This is the relationship. Mm -hmm. This is about family, your roots, legacies, stability. Um, be resilient. You're tired, right? You got some, you know, from all this fear. Last stand. It looks like you're getting on the other side of the fence here. Maybe you pulled out one of the wands to jump over the fence. Are you prepared to face challenges and overcome them? Right. You're stepping over that line of fear. As long as you become a uh, or spiritual, you ask for more things, you know, more answers from spirit and your ancestors, right? They really have a lot of messages for you here. And bringing this together to get to the other side. It's about traditions, social groups. Uh, conformity, education, knowledge, beliefs. I honor my spiritual path and traditions. There's some family traditions. Maybe you're moving 
towards family, you know, your family here and your husband or wife is very anxious about this because they have a very good foundation of where they are in their career right now. And they just don't know what the outcome is going to be. And you're kind of um, jumping in this like fools, right? You don't you don't see the future. You don't know what's going to happen. But you're going to have to just learn how to have fun with it. Right? Be a little bit more open-minded about it. Okay, because it's going to bring you this. This is very positive. This is yes, yes, unknown. But yes, you're going to have this family, this great foundation. You know, we're going to have different generations, right? Maybe somebody's getting older and you have to go take care of them. So you're going to collaborate and you're going to pack up in your move. But you do have a lot of fear and anxiety around this. It's a new thing. All right, so what's the overarching energy? Nine of Cups. <clears> hey, <throat> this is um, this is a no. So this is uh, somebody being stubborn, maybe, not seeing the riches that are right behind them. All the cups that could be filled. Uh, let's see, wishes coming true. Contentment, satisfaction, success, achievements, recognition, pleasure, right? So you're actually going to gain a lot from this. Uh, maybe new emotions, new wisdom coming through, right? Because you're now hanging out with some of your ancestors, some of your lineage that's older and wiser. Uh, you're, you might even be getting... You know, um, what do you call that? <laughs> Money from someone, right? Somebody dies and then you get um, in the trust. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Please help me um, find my words. Thank you. Um, what does it say here? Family disputes, bankruptcy, debt. Um instability, breaking traditions, conflict over money, um, inheritance. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right? Maybe you're getting an inheritance. You know, after you move to take care of this person. But you're also going to gain a lot of knowledge as well. You know, they still have a little while, but they are older, so you know what's going to happen. So you're moving closer to them. You know, uh, you're really praying for this person. You're asking for spiritual guidance in regards to this older person. Okay, so uh, angel cards, I never used these before, so let's pull an angel and see who is protecting this older person right now. Death, oh wow. Um, so this is also a tarot deck. Moo, Moo Maya, sorry if I butcher your name, uh, I don't mean to. Um, God, the end of the universe, 72, so the nine, things are starting to come to a close, you have a lot of wisdom, uh, endings and rebirth, influences, health and longevity, right? So you're taking care of this person for sure, you're helping them out with their health and longevity, but at the same time you know it's going to end. Eventually, there's going to be death.
Okay. And what angels are with you right now? Four of Cups. Uh, Mila Hill. 23, 5 is Changes. The God Deflecting Evil. Healing, Capacities, Protection from Weapons, Safety, and Travel. Yeah, right? Because you're here to help heal this person, protect them. Protect them from weapons. Maybe they have Alzheimer's. Right? They don't really know like how to use guns or they shouldn't be around it. It's like children shouldn't be around guns. You know, have the safety, protect them, lock them up. You know, you gotta child proof your home. You gotta kinda um, <laughs> elder proof your home as well, right? And then safety and travel because you're traveling. Right? And my light just went out too with that, right? This is emotions, protection. Something about with your lights, maybe? Check your headlights before you go. Okay. Ace of Swords. This is the angel that's with this other person. 61 is the 7. Spirituality. God above all names. Elevated. Uh, affinity and friendship attain the friendship of anyone so you're very charismatic you know you make friends very easily this person does right because they have to for their job right they're in this high ranking job so they kind of have to befriend everybody sell their product or their, their idea. Okay, so let's see what other fun goodies did I get. I think I pretty much used all my fun tools that I bought new. Um, See, let's do a little crystal wisdom here. Okay, give me more information <clears throat> about this connection. Okay, very beautiful. Aquamarine communication. I communicate with ease and grace, right? You need to communicate with this person. So that you can convince them to move, right? You also need to communicate with the, your elder. So you can find out, you know, what's going on to help them heal. Okay, beautiful colors. Ametrine, intuition, use your intuition. I am fully aligned with my intuition. I trust this power, full wisdom to guide me. Right? Use your intuition. This is all about your mind. Right? It's going to guide you. Your intuition. The higher spirit will let you know. Okay? Azurite. Expanded awareness. My awareness is expanding with an abundance of clarity. Yeah. Because you're talking here with your elders, you're learning new information, you're gaining some extra money, some extra help. You know, this person is helping you. They live in this beautiful castle or this farm here. And you get to stay there with them as you help take care of them. And then you're also going to get their, their riches when they pass, right? And then you also have this higher spirit of knowing and expanding for clarity. Alright, so just keep on praying <clears throat> praying to your higher spirit for 
for guidance on how to take care of this elder and um, and talk to this elder for information on how to survive this world. Okay, one more. Very beautiful. Uh -huh. Rodo Crocite. <laughs> Self acceptance. I fully accept myself and know that I am worthy of great things in life, right? You're already um, in this high stature. You can do it anywhere. You know. You have self-acceptance. You know you're worthy. So don't stress over it. Don't doubt it. Don't fear it. Okay. Thank you. And this is your reading for today. 2.22 of 2024 and I hope that you have a lot of union today and balance and I hope love finds your way and if you like this please hit like share and subscribe and I will see you on our next reading bye I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.